Hey guys, this is Lizzie. Welcome back to my channel. It has been, I don't even know how long, like months. It's been like at least two months since I even recorded anything and I haven't posted on YouTube in forever. So it is currently November 29th. It's uh, two days before December starts and I kind of have a lot to tell you guys. A lot has happened in my life recently. Honestly, I don't even know what the last thing I even recorded was. So I feel like I would just wanna like sit down and tell you guys about my life recently. So I'm standing, this is my bedroom. I'm standing here and getting my coffee. And yeah, I'm just gonna tell you guys a little bit about where I've been recently. So I can't remember if I said this on here or not, but I uh, moved to New York Obviously, I did say that. I moved to New York July 1st, so it's currently like almost December 1st. So I've been here for almost five months. Um, but I'm back in my hometown, back in my mom's house, living with my parents. Um, this is not like this is not like where I want to live long term, but it's kind of like a means to an end. I get to see my niece all the time. She is currently eight months old. Um, I get to see all my family up here that I don't get to see a ton, like my aunts and uncles, some of my cousins, all that kind of stuff. So it's been really, really, really awesome to be home and to see all of my family because clearly, like, I haven't been able to see very many people other than, like, at thanks or not even Thanksgiving, at Christmas or, like, whenever I'm home for a couple weeks in the summer, but, like, that's it. So it's been super nice. I haven't seen a ton of this family in, in like, years almost, and it's been great to be home. Um, also, I have a 10 o'clock meeting and it's 9.49, so I'm going to try to <laughs> get through this as much as I, as fast as possible, but, so that's July, my grandma passed away, the grandma that I was closest to, um, I talked to her every day, and honestly, that was really hard, she was sick, she had cancer, but even, like, the whole situation just happened really fast, so that was kind of really hard to swallow, you know, July, August, even, like, before my birthday in September was really hard um and it's it's I don't know the whole I mean if you if you have anyone close to you that has ever passed away due to sickness or even just like anything passed away in general like you know how hard it is to deal with that in a day-to-day -day basis and yes it's only five months later and I still cry like I don't know maybe once a week <laughs> about it like I'm laughing now obviously it's not a funny topic but like it's just a part of life like you have to be able to get through past someone passing away and it's it's not fun it's really not it sucks and grief is a really like I don't know how to say it other than just like it's a sucky thing to have to go through but in the end it it makes you stronger and if you think about it in a positive light like that person is no longer suffering at least in my case my grandma had cancer so like she's no longer suffering she is you know no matter what you believe in, she is in an afterlife where she is happy and she is healthy and she gets to see her parents and her friends that have passed away and she gets to see, you know, my dog that she loved and, and all this kind of stuff, but that is not the story. So anyways, so um, that's that. I currently still work remotely for my firm in Kentucky and I plan to do so until I'm able to move back, which... Again, I don't really know exactly when that's going to be. The plan, as of right now, as of the end of 2023, is to save up enough money to be able to just buy a house down there whenever I go back. Um, but, you know, it's, it's life is life. You know, things happen. So, my original plan was just to put the money that I was putting towards rent in a savings account. And then I realized that my student loans were coming out of deferment. And the month that I stopped paying rent, the next month my student loans came out of deferment and it was even more than my rent um so i haven't been able to really save at all i mean a couple hundred bucks a month you know but obviously that's not enough to like short term be able to buy a house so that's kind of like financially where i'm at um without going into like super super specific details like that's kind of the plan right now is to like stay at home save money you know i'm not driving to work every day so i can save on gas whatever um, and then eventually I'd be able to move back to Kentucky and work in person at my firm because working in person, like the social interaction, I didn't realize how, like, I'm always like, oh, I'm such an introvert. Oh, I'm so like, I love being alone, but it's like working from home every single day made me realize how much I miss working in the office with my coworkers and like just being around people all the time. Like 
I don't know. It's just, it's just crazy. But on the other hand, a couple things that I'm like super excited for in New York is I'm actually coaching um, high school cheer. Well, I'm coaching the modified team, which is the middle schoolers, but I'm coaching high school cheer at my old high school that I went to. And uh, that's actually just started up this week. So that has been super fun. I'm coaching um, at my old all-star gym that I also cheered at. Um, and that's about one night a week because if you know anything about being a tax practitioner, you know that your hours from February until April are insane. So I kind of have to be careful with like what I'm putting myself into because I know that like my job is, is going to come first those months. I mean, last year I was lucky enough that my job let me work full time and still cheer because cheer was kind of like my, like I was done with school. So cheer became like my number one priority and then work was like number two. And I, they knew that going in, it wasn't a problem. But this year, like, work is now my number one priority. So it's it's definitely something that's, like, different that I'm going to have to focus on this year. Like, I'm going to be working from my house for, like, 12 to 14 hours every single day. And then, like, one day a week at freaking 5 p.m., I'm going to leave and go to the gym. But, like, that's it. So it's definitely interesting, and we're going to see how it goes. But anyways... So that's kind of work, whatever. Like I said, I'm coaching. That's so fun. I'm so excited. And then in December, I'm actually going to Nashville and Louisville for a week. Um, mainly because it's both because I'm driving. Um, but I have a Louisville, we have a couple uh, in-person trainings and the, as well as our Christmas party. And I didn't get to go last year because it was the same day as my college graduation. Um, so I didn't get to go, but this year I, I will be able to go because I don't have anything, you know, going on. I'm going to Louisville specifically like for these trainings and for this Christmas party. I'm so excited because it's so fun and our firm in Kentucky is, is pretty big. So I'm really excited about it. But anyways, so that will be next Saturday is actually when I'm driving down to my dad's house in Nashville. Um, and then I'll be with him for like four or five days and then I'm driving up to Louisville. I'll stay in Louisville for about four days, I think, and then drive back to, Ro to Rochester. So it is not for the, the faint hearted. Driving that far in one day is a lot. And believe me when I tell you, I've done it literally like six times this year. And, and all of them have been by myself, I'm pretty sure. So it's not fun, it's not great, but we do it because our parents live freaking 12 hours apart. I don't know. Anyways, but that being, with, being, with that being said, um, I think I'm going to try to vlog, do vlogmas this year. I really would like to like kind of incorporate more of just like my day to day life, coaching, you know, all the fun stuff. So if anybody has any ideas of like video ideas, things you guys would want to see, that kind of thing, like definitely please let me know because I think this would be so fun. I've done it before in the past, but now that like I'm home, I've like, I'm not studying right now. Uh, I forgot, also forgot to mention, I just took a CPA exam on Monday, but I won't find out the score for another month from now. So right now I'm just kind of chilling. I'm like, it is what it is. It's my last chance to take the specific exam, BEC, because it's going out. But even like, even stuff like that, like if you guys want to know about like my profession, what I'm doing, my like schooling experience, my cheer experience in college, like I would love to talk about all of that. So if anybody has any specific uh, suggestions, please let me know because I would totally do it. But yeah, so I'm sure there's other clips in this video actually that are from August, by the way. It is November and those clips are from August. I just felt like I needed to put them somewhere. So that is where the rest of this video is gonna go. There are like a couple hauls, a couple like things talking about I don't even know what I'm talking about. I haven't even watched it all, but I just kind of want to get on here and like give you guys a little update because I feel like, I don't know, I just haven't posted in so long and I really, 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 like every year I'm like, oh, I really want to get back into YouTube and then it's like so many other things get pushed in a way, but this is something that I'm truly passionate about and I have been for who knows how long, like freaking 12 years or something, like crazy, so yeah. All right, let's get into the rest of the video and I will come back to say bye. Okay. So it is like, I don't know how many hours later, but it's later. I'm off work now 
and I just dropped my brother off at the um, barber shop. But I got some new uh, sheets and a comforter for my new bed that I'm getting this week. Actually, I'm picking the bed out tonight, actually. Um, but I'm upgrading from a full to a queen, so I obviously need some new sheets and stuff. So I got a pair, a pair, a set of these. Well, I guess I can just show it to you. I was going to do like a little unboxing. Um, but I got these like satiny silk material sheets that look like this. They're just this really pretty like green color um, because I have been loving my pillowcases. They're the Kit Kitsch, I think is what it's called, the Kitsch brand. Um, and so I was like, if I like, you know, the pillowcases, maybe I would like it as like sheets too. So I got these. I really hope I like them. I'm going to wash them tonight. But I just got these sheets in this color, which I think these are pillowcases right here, maybe. It's like, I think it's a fitted sheet, a loose sheet, and then um, a couple pillowcases. This is the comforter that I ordered. It is so vacuum sealed. <laughs> this looks so funny. I don't know if I should take it out, but well, I'm, I'm going to need to wash it before I put it on my bed, so. I guess I have to take it out, but um, I mean, it says it's a size queen. It is literally so vacuum sealed, it's hilarious. Oh my goodness, I don't even know if I can get this out. See, it's already getting like aired out, if you can't tell. But, okay, this is the color. It's like this oatmeal color, Um, which I don't know how well you can tell in this lighting because I have like the light on but I like the material it's pretty soft and it's just a plain comforter so say hi say hi so I actually have it out up here um in my parents room here's my here's one of the other cats her name's Ella she's very mean anyways um I have it up here because this is like the only space right now that has enough room but this is the rug I got I got it from Rugs USA and it was on sale for like $50 I think and honestly it's it's a 5x8 I believe but honestly I think it's really cute I just hope like these are the colors on it don't mind my skeleton socks <laughs> these are the colors on it so I hope that they go well with like my bed stuff because I didn't really get like anything that's like this blue or like that tan color so, I don't know. Hopefully it looks alright, but I guess we'll see whenever I actually go to, like, set it up. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. I went shopping today, and I wanted to show you guys some stuff I got. And, yeah. I don't really know what else is going to be in this video, because I don't really do anything with my life. But, yeah, so... First things first, I went to Target this morning because I actually wanted to get to Starbucks and then I just ended up buying a bunch of other things as well. So at Target, the first thing I grabbed was this t-shirt and this is in a 2X, um, but it's a NASCAR t-shirt and it's in this just like dark gray color, but I have been loving, clearly, if you couldn't tell by my outfit today, I have been loving like big t-shirts with like like uh biker shorts or even these like today i'm wearing running shorts but um i just think they're so cute and i have really been loving like the graphic tee look and i just love cars so i i have not like the biggest nascar person but i do enjoy it um so i figured this one is super cool like i said this is in a 2x and um, it was $16.99. Um, and then the next thing I picked up was a sweatsuit because I needed a black, like a plain black zip up hoodie and I didn't have one. So, oops, I dropped another thing. But I also, this is the only size they have left and this is an XL, which just so everyone is aware, these are not like my normal sizes but I really like things that are like super oversized on me for some reason recently like it has just been my favorite 
So I got this plain black zip up hoodie. I got it in an XL. Um, and this one was $30. And the material on the inside is so soft. And it's literally just like a plain black like zip up hoodie. Um, I have a plain white one. And then, the, but the white one is not very oversized on me. And then I also have like um, a like the bone Lulu scuba one. I don't know if I put that on YouTube that I got that or not yet, but whatever. And then I also got just plain black matching sweatpants. I got these in a medium, um, and they're just like the like boot cut at the end. I want to say I need to try these on, so I might do that in this video. Do a little like try on. Um, because I just want to make sure that they're long enough. Like, I'm definitely not tall by any means. I'm literally 5'3 and like a half or something. But the last time I got pants, like sweatpants from Target, they were literally high waters on me. And then by the time I realized it, I couldn't take them off, like return them, um, because I had to take the tags off. So hopefully they spit me. I think they will, but yeah, just plain black sweatpants. And guys, if you're a girl, you know. The best part is that they have pockets. For real. Um, and then the last thing I got at Target was this book, The Song of Achilles. This has been on my, like, to-be-read list or, like, my, like, things I want to read list for forever. And I literally have never gotten the book because I can never find it anywhere. Um, but it was finally at Target. So it was, like, $14 maybe. I don't know. But I still have a ton of other books I need to read before I get to this one. Um, and, I, and if you guys want like an updated like reading list or like what books I want to read um, for the rest of this year, let me know because I definitely think I would do that. But anyways, this is the next book I bought. Um, and then later today, I ended up, we went out to um, this bar to see my aunt work and then we played some darts and stuff that was fun and then after we got home I was very much like I don't just want to stay inside all day I want to go do something and it's rainy today so I ended up going to Kohl's um where else did I go Home Goods I went to Ulta Five Below and then I went to the mall so at Kohl's I actually got a pair of shoes. That being said, I ended up getting these. I really, I really like them. My brother said that they look like shoes my dad would wear, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But I ended up getting these in a nine and a half. A nine and a half. I am normally like an eight and a half. Um, but they fit so narrowly, like throughout, like this part of the foot. And the eights, the eight and a halfs, even the nines just felt a little too snug. And they had these ones in the nine and a half. And I don't think they had them in any other small, or no, they might have had them in smaller sizes. But anyways, I felt like I just needed a cute little like chunky looking shoe. These are the Women's Nike Air Max. Um, and the color white, black pure platinum. So they were originally $90 um, and then I had that $50 gift card or gift cards. So I ended up only really paying like 40 bucks for these which honestly for for these I think it's pretty nice. So these were my like um, like I'm proud of this purchase of the day. And then like I said I went to five below and I've been needing a little like nightstand to go right next to my um like chair my reading chair so they had this this is not this was only five dollars um and so i'm like if it if it like doesn't really work it is what it is like i'm not that worried about it because again it was only five dollars but it's just this little like stand um and honestly i just need it to like put my phone on when it's charging or like put my book on you know while i'm reading because the way my room is set up right now, the like nightstand next to my bed is just like just a hair too far away. So whatever. Like I said, I went to the mall, and so you know that means little lemon. Um, but actually, these were on sale, and that was the only reason I got anything was because these were on sale, and I have been wanting to try these. These are the Speed Up Mid Rise Short Four Inch Lined, and they're actually in this navy color. And I don't have any Lulu items in navy. I have like an Amazon dupe um, 
navy sports bra for the free to be wild so i figured that i could wear that with these but i've been wanting to try these shorts and they were in my size and they were on sale they're normally 68 and i got them for 59 so not a huge like sale but i looked and i don't think they have anything like materially wrong with them so i'm wondering if they, they were just like some kind of return or something but yeah these are the speed up mid rise that i got um i might actually wear these tomorrow to go lift um but yeah so that is everything that i bought today all right so that is everything that is in this video like i said those clips that you just saw are from like august early september like super long ago but i still wanted to show you guys because it's stuff that i love stuff that i think is super fun so Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below, like I said. Bye!